President Trump is holding his first rally since getting COVID-19 this weekend in Florida. But does that mean he's really over the virus? Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares the science behind COVID-19 and when you're contagious. Hey everybody, hello to you. President Trump first reported he was positive for the coronavirus in an early morning tweet a little more than a week ago. Since then, he's had a combination of therapies aimed at halting symptoms and reducing viral load in the body. Now he's saying he's ready to rally. I think I'm going to try doing a rally on Saturday night if we can, if we have enough time to put it together. But we want to do a rally in Florida, probably in Florida on Saturday night. Might come back and do one in Pennsylvania in uh, the following night. And it's uh, incredible what's going on. I feel so good. The president might feel good, but is he still contagious? His symptoms reportedly started October 1st, and the Centers for Disease Control and America's top doctor both say... The general guidelines are, when is it safe for a person to go out from the time they get symptoms? It's probably around 10 days from the onset of symptoms. So it's possible that by Saturday, October 10th, it might be safe for President Trump to return to the campaign trail and not be contagious to others. Generally, two negative tests at least 24 hours apart confirm that. But newer advanced diagnostics... And we're actually uh, piloting some same-day partnerships, some overnight partnerships... ...are now able to expedite that information. As for whether or not, even with negative tests and 10 days out from the start of symptoms, the president could still spread the virus, the largest study in India on contract tracing shows it's doubtful. 70% of COVID-19 infected patients in this study of more than half a million people did not infect any of their contacts. Researchers found instead that 8% of infected individuals accounted for 60% of observed new infections. So the people who shed a huge amount of virus, we call those people super spreaders, and they may be responsible for most of the spread within the community, and yet they may not be very symptomatic sometimes. Now, while there are reports of getting the COVID-19 coronavirus a second time, there are no confirmed reports to date, according to the CDC, of a person being reinfected with COVID-19 within about three months of initial infection. However, additional research ongoing. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.